Students, I'd ask you to use a little more uh, collegiate type of, of language when you're speaking. All right. I'm an 18 year old speaker, Matt. Does that please you? Moment. If the Bible is true, should you then repent? Now, you say, prove to me God exists. Okay? We've already given you many evidences so far creation, the conscience, God's law, all these things. Yeah, there's a whole lot of verses against your theory. Yeah, but there is, there's also counter examples against your theory, such as evolution and other possible ways of and now, is Jesus Christ a historical person? Yeah, yes. Yes. So okay. for many centuries, they said, no, he never existed. Until they started finding all the archaeological proofs for the existence of Christ. Yeah, yes, so yeah. There was a Pontius Pilate. There was a Jesus Christ. He was crucified, dead, and resurrected. Yeah, and why is that important? Why is that important? She claims to be a Christian. Christian, why is it important that Jesus Christ is alive? The reason that it's important that Jesus Christ is alive is because if he wasn't, A, he wouldn't be the Son of God, and B, there's no way that he could save us. If he wasn't right, we would have no hope of life after we die if Jesus Christ wasn't actually resurrected. How is there proof that he was resurrected? Because so somebody wrote it down in the book? We're still on the if then statement. If the Bible is true, then should you repent? That's my question, logically. <laughs> if it's true, should you repent? Now, the Bible is supernatural origin. There's 66 different books. The Old Testament, let me finish. The Old Testament points out the law. That is our conscience written on our hearts. Don't steal, don't lie, don't commit adultery. Don't, uh, don't dishonor your parents. Respect your elders. No, that's not what I'm But don't dishonor your parents, right? Those are laws that God put in there. So if he's put in there a testimony of himself and you would neglect it or reject it, what are you doing? You're saying, I don't believe it anyway. I know creation is example of creator, but I want to believe my professor. I know my conscience convicts me and makes me feel guilty when I commit adultery, when I steal, when I lie. All those things are another evidence or proof. Oh, Again, so some people say, well, this is Western philosophy, what are you talking about? We're hardwired into your genetic, like, you know, like a lot of these things. Kind of like homosexuality might be hardwired into your DNA, that Actually, kind of thing. Actually, you're not arguing that. If you chose that, the anyway. estrogen, yeah. more excluded estrogen in utero, um, I think in later stages of pregnancy, will have a higher chance of being gay. Also, boys born, like if you have like, like a lot of brothers or something born, the boys born later will have a higher chance of being a homosexual because I think they get less immune to approaching the mother. If the Bible is true, should you then repent? <laughs> now listen carefully. Okay. Just stick with logic. Now there, there was this thing I want you to examine carefully for yourself. Okay. Each one of you that are within earshot of what I'm saying, if Jesus Christ really came from heaven, as he explained, as he proclaimed, I and the Father are one. I've come to seek and save that which is lost. If you're really lost, the Bible says, if Jesus Christ poured out his blood on the cross then. to die for your crimes, then, then should you repent. Yeah. But, 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 sure. done that. I feel like I, 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 I think that. Yeah. Like, like, I've been I've been giving the evidence, we've been giving the evidence all afternoon. And no. you suppose no. the only you suppose it's not true. By saying something as vulgar as is a bunch of yeah. Right. If you say that, you cannot dismiss or change the reality. Saying I don't believe God's going to judge the world in righteousness does not change reality of Judgment Day. Listen carefully. Just because I say oh, I don't believe in Trump, it's just on the highway, the truck, the truck, the truck wiped me out. Now think of that. Right? I don't have this stuff out there to accomplish the truck will like We make up all kinds of delusions to try and get around truth. Let's say I didn't believe in gravity. And I step up there on the building, I flap my wings, I don't believe in gravity, I don't believe in gravity. I don't believe in what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna throw a wing. The absolute truth, two plus two equals four, is absolute truth. It's called the law of non-contradiction. You cannot say yes equals no. It's not. Yes equals yes. No equals no. 